help as well. Indeed, I believe that you will serve as dutiful guides and bring more customers in. Uh, but I prefer that you be able to enjoy this as a, this festival as a customer. Would you two like to give it a try if you have the time? Creating a floral courtyard of your very own, that is? <laughs> but still, would you be willing to take part? If you defeat each of the four challenges, you will receive a reward, as a matter of course. I'll give it some consideration. Well then, please do take your time. Nice to meet you, Glee. I'm Yui Mia, and I run Naganahara Fireworks. Um, <laughs> hello! I love the cute outfit, with the hat and the cool little symbols. So unique! In your backpack. Wow, it's really well made. That's a four-leaf clover. Mom and Master Jean said it can bring me good luck. Really? That's awesome! I bet everyone would love one of those. I'm either going to have to do one of two things, or maybe three things. I'm going to, one, have to skip events in some of these games, because there's no way I can just do them all, which I could, which is part of, like, another option, where I no longer play any other games but those games. <laughs> and the third option is just do it all. Like, normal games and those games. Dad Publishing House. Ooh, it's Auntie Aratani. I know Auntie Aratani. <laughs> auntie? <laughs> Who's that calling me Auntie? Oh, it's the little girl who came with Mr. Calx. How can I help you, little girl? Auntie Aratani, can you help me get Dodoko's story printed so that everybody can see it? Dodoko? Oh, so you've been writing a story, huh? Is Dodoko the main character? Not only that, Dodoko is also real. Look! Uh huh? I don't quite understand. We'd better explain this to her. Oh, I see. Oh, I'd love to help you make this wish come true, but... I'm sorry. The deadline has passed for accepting printing orders for the Iridori Festival. Auntie, are you saying Dodoko won't be able to meet everyone after all? Oh, I'm sorry, little girl. <laughs> oh no, don't do oh, it. Oh, Klee, don't be upset. You still have me and the Traveler. We'll think of something. Yeah, we'll find a way. Um, Miss Aratani, is there any way at all we can still get this printed? We can pay extra. And if you're short on staff to help with the printing, I can pitch in. Uh, Miss Yoimiya, I understand your sentiment, but I'm afraid it's not as simple as that. We've been printing many people's personal works for this festival, and a lot of the books are already well behind schedule. And the printing press is already working overtime to try and catch up. At a time like this... We really can't squeeze any more jobs in. What do we do? Seems like we might have to give up on this idea. No, I won't let that happen. I remember this one time when I was little. Pop said he'd take me to the festival, but he was so busy with work that he forgot all about it. I waited and waited and kept wondering when Pops was finally going to take me there. Eventually, people started coming home from the festival. That night, I cried miserably. Uh, to this day, I still remember how sad I felt. I don't want Klee to feel the same way. If we can't get it printed, then we'll just have to find our own way. I can paint. Over the next few days, I'll paint as many as I can. Then, we'll take those to the festival. My, my. Your Mia has quite a determined spirit. I like it very much. It's Miko, and Albedo too! We heard everything. Oh, Lady Yai! It's okay, I know. 
You were just following the rules. Plus, we really are quite behind schedule with the printing. But our mission at Yai Publishing House is to bring dreams and happiness to the masses. It would be a crying shame if we couldn't even help one adorable little girl fulfill her wish. Let me think. Oh, I know. Yoimiya, little girl. You can print your book, but on one condition, okay? Of course, Lady Guji. Uh, just tell us. Whatever this condition is, I am ready to face it. Dear me, it's nothing that horrendous. You make it sound like I'm some sort of wicked witch. All I mean is, if you want to get your work printed now, there is only one way. You have to combine it with another print. However, there is only a small amount of space remaining in the book in question. Your book is too big, so you have to reduce it to about half the size to make it fit. Is this a sacrifice that you're willing to make? Klee, Lady Guji is saying that we can print the book if we shrink it to half the size. Are you okay with that? Yep, I am! Thanks, Miss Guji Lady! <laughs> what an adorable little girl! Well, that settles it. Aratani, make sure it gets printed with tonight's batch. Yes, Lady I. I'll get right on it. Combining the prints is a plausible solution, but it'll cause a lot of extra work for the printing press. I am terribly sorry about that. No problem. Just think of it as my greeting gift for little Klee. Besides, the Yai Publishing House will need your help with the illustrations again next time, Mr. Calx. You could also consider it as my investment in you. All right, I won't disturb you two any longer. Bye-bye now. Yay! Everything worked out perfectly. Now, we just need to wait for an update from the Yai Publishing House. Yoimiya, Traveler. Klee is family, after all. Man, we're still going, huh? Well, we might as well as finish it up. What, what time do they say? 14 to 16, the next day. I think after we finish this, uh, if it end, it'll end very quickly here in a moment. I think I'm gonna go do stuff with the flowers. Ah, crap! Of course, we gotta go all the way back down to Rito. I'm really just sitting here imagining myself playing this game and doing the event that's currently in the game, then like playing like Tower Fantasy and also doing the event that's in that game, and then doing Blue Protocol and playing the event that's in that game, while also playing games with friends and also like a normal game alongside it. I feel like I would get to the point where I wouldn't be playing, Look, you know, Aratani normal games again. Story. It would just be these anime RPGs. Now we can finally see what secrets Klee and Yoimiya were keeping from us. Oh, it's really nothing that exciting. It's the story of Donoko and me. And me. And you guys. You put me in the story? Now, pause if you'd like to read this. I'm, I'm reading it too, but I'm speed reading it. Kinda hope that we get to like read, that, like we get this and we can just read this later ourselves. Aww, that's so cute, the way they're drawn there. Man, Clea is such a fucking better drawer than I am. I couldn't do shit like that as a child. Aww, so cute. So cute. Paimon's in the story too! This is Paimon's first time featuring in a printed book! Woohoo! Paimon's gonna be famous! In a way, shouldn't you already be? Of course we included Paimon! 
This is the story of everyone's big happy adventure with Dodo Co. This story is me and your Mia's gift for Miss Honorary Night. Lady Yai, the extra copies of your book will be included as a free gift with purchases of the other book. Is that okay with you? Oh, are you sure? It's fine by us. But what does the author of the book think? Actually, the book that yours was printed with is called the Tevat Travel Guide. <gasps> hey, that's Mommy's book! Aww. And also a book that, like, so many people can't get because they glitched the hell out of their game and that hasn't been fixed. So, Klee's mother is a writer? Huh. Klee's mother, Alice, is a renowned adventurer in Tevat, and the Inazuma edition of her popular Tevat Travel Guide series is set to be released imminently. Lady Yae has already decided on how to promote it. A joint endeavor by Tevat's biggest and best mother-daughter adventure duo. It's sure to be a huge hit. I'm really hoping that we get to meet Alice one day. Uh, Paimon knew it! Mika would never do anything for free! <laughs> a typical move by Lady Yai. It works out well for everybody, doesn't it? Yup! I'm super happy because my book gets to be released together with Mommy's book! It's like me and Mommy going on an adventure together! Oh, I'm so glad I came! The Iridori Festival is the best! Yes, we actually get to keep that. Wait, is that really a keep, though? Tell me that is an actual keepsake. Like, please tell me it is. Oh, thank god. I really didn't want to have to get rid of it, because that's such a cute book that I would like to probably read at some point. So what are these ones about? No, I don't want to go here. What am I doing? I want to go do the flower stuff before we start anything with the next people. We'll just get this going. So, I'm supposed to be making the... Okay, yeah, this makes it real easy, because you can literally just check the theme. gets revealed. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's, like, easy. Theme incomplete? What do you mean? Did I accidentally not go to one of these? What do you mean? <gasps> Adjust the hot No! Oh, even then it wouldn't matter. A short. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> Shit. Short, medium, short, medium, short, medium. I guess this is how it keeps going. Short. Medium. Short. That's not gonna be right, is it? It's gonna change it up in the last two. It changed it up in the last two. No! Oh, it's still there. I thought it left. Nah, they're tall. Of course they are. Oh, of course they are. There we go. Save. Floral theme. Yeah, I'm just going to be waiting for the arrangements on all these. I'll put them together, but I'm waiting for the arrangements. So there's part one. Do I need to talk to her for the next... Do I, re I really need to talk to you for every time? 
Oh, don't tell me I gotta do that for Theater Mechanic. No, I, I definitely don't want to do that for Theater Mechanicus. The, the time... The previous four choreo was a pleasure to behold indeed. You were both most talented to grasp the essence of art so quickly. The new theme awaits your, your perusal. Let's begin then. Yep, we're ready as can be. <laughs> Such a vivid sparkle there in your eyes. Almost like they reflect a radiant sea of flowers. Most lovely indeed. In that case, today's theme is slightly harder than the last one. All the better for you to refine your craft with. Silken and sturdy, the lotus in the pond. Ponder the meaning of this theme and select your flowers carefully to form a most special floral courtyard. Okay. Again, I'm just gonna kinda let this go. Oh no, we need to go the other one. We're on the wrong one. And I get to put these in my teapot when I'm done. But maybe I don't fucking want to. Okay, so they want a water lily. I can't tell the size of that shit. A front right, where's that? It's right there. It needs that definitely needs to be a small. Don't stop. You do slightly see it. So meaty. Let's see if I can get this without looking. Hey, I did it! I didn't need your hints. I did it myself. So, 8 to 12 the next day again, yeah? Yeah? Are you... Game? 8, eight, to, eight, eight, eight to 12 the next day, next day? Don't tell me there was only two. No way there was only two. Hold on. Huh? What? What? Are you kidding me? What bullshit is this? Unlocks in four hours? Unlocks in one day? Man, what bullshit? Unlocks in... Oh, come on. So, the Theater Mechanicus is finished. Why aren't they... Why are these two unlocking a day after the final main part? What? Bro, you're making me waste time. Well... Why are you crying? What's your problem? Mew, are you feeling better? Oh, how could this have happened? Not only has the author Taiyuki's latest work been delayed, delayed by work, but a country as far from the center of Earth and Bouquet for you will also stop releasing temporarily. But, but the two protagonists were just about to confess their feelings to each other at the end of the volume. Calm down, Mew. You don't understand. In the original series that Takayuki's fan novel was based on, the two protagonists could not resolve their differences and separated. I, I've pinned all my hope in their happiness. Um, well, if you wish for their happiness that much, why don't you write them a happy ending? Me? Well, actually, you've got a point. Be the change we want to see in everything, you know? Fucking what? Outlander Brigade, the latest trailblazer in any zoom in white literature, has just made its debut. Wanna have a look? Outlander Brigade? That's right, striking name, eh? Don't worry, the text itself reads just as well as it sounds. Like it might. Trust me, this series is going to be a big hit for sure. At the moment when the wind of death blows towards the blonde samurai, 
It's just the first volume in the series. As for the second and third volumes, I already have some ideas for their names. The second show in the Witch Brook Town. That said, I haven't decided on what to write exactly, although that's not very important at the moment. How are your sales? None at the moment. Not a single one? Well, yes. That said, I believe that this state is only temporary. I mean, even the most famous authors were unknown once. Such dilemmas are just the material martial training written about in the books, a test of one's heart and character. As such, I must persevere. One day my works will be acknowledged by the world at large. <sighs> Seriously though, what are these fan novel things? <sighs> Every time I ask the people around here, I get dirty looks. What's with that? Also, I've been listening to the discussions between people in these queues, and while I recognize every word they say, the sentences that are formed make no sense to me. Ah, as you've seen, I am a writer of fan novels. I'm decently well known in fan work circles, and I was approached some time back by an editor from the i Publishing House, who asked if I was willing to try working on an original project. I did try, of course, but I found that's just not that interesting, you know. I just love doing fan work more. Of course, some readers did comment that I must just be afraid of change and progress, but to me, it's just creating, it's just, that, it's just that creating should be about happiness. Dear readers, how do you do? I'm Takayuki, or Tai, Tai, Taiyaki, an author with the fan work circle fantasy house. I'd like to apologize to my heavier workload recently. The latest volume of Country from the Center of the Earth and Bouquet for You will not be complete on time. Owing to health concerns, I have temporarily stopped this work. Thank you all for your concerns. Welcome! This is the I Publishing House stall that sells children's books specifically. We've got all manner of uh, yukai tales here in Inizuma and tales that feature Kitsune, uh, Tanuki, or Tengu as the main characters. I thought Tengu were creepy. Are very popular indeed. We've even received a, sp a significant amount of overseas orders. Wait, are Tengu like those weird long nose things? not like that at all. Have you finished reading the fan novel that we brought together? No, wait. Okay, I know who's who. Yep, more or less. Wasn't it great? I love the ending, the way in which the female bee chose to stride towards her. No, I don't know who's who. You know, although the plot line at the start was very exciting, I remember that this wasn't the original ending. Yeah. Free of the fireworks for ya. Getting to see all the character stories and fan works is exactly their charm. That's true, that's true. Got a point there. Also, I've heard that a new picture books come out over there. Wanna go have a look? Yeah, I had those things. At all times. Wrong. Ah, the, wait, 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 wait. Oh no, because this is Inizuma. Come get your books. How's the festival going? This e Idiori festival is different from ones in the past. I imagine it's quite the sight for our guests. That said, I'm just here to collect the Mora. Give out the change, thank people for their patronage, the works. <sighs> Sorry, no time to chit chat. If Harayami catch catches me, I'll be in hot stew for sure. Well, I just got myself some special books. I... I... Peek... I just... Look, I just... I just... I just... Can I buy... I will give you all I have. I never thought that Rito would play host the festival by the A Publishing House. Not as so many people would show up. Thanks to the Yudori Festival, our Inizuma products and toys have been very popular indeed, even those that aren't necessarily part of our event-specific promotions. So, what do you sell here? We mainly sell super. Okay, that's this old stuff now. During special periods like holidays or festivals, we sell statues of the Almighty Shogun and other related goods. Oh my. Statues of the Shogun? Yeah, our almighty Shogun is a merciful and forgiving person who doesn't really mind people buying the statues for any reason whatsoever. Before the Sakuko Decree was ins in insinuated, 
It was the best selling product, but the old edition has long since production, and we've switched to the new one since. Can I buy? Why can't I buy? Also, are you sure A doesn't come along being like, oh, what is this version of me? It is like I have regressed back to childhood. Welcome back, Almighty Shogun. Excuse me? Uh, uh, Almighty Shogun? Ah, don't worry about it too much. This is just something that they say in the novel. I mean, Pretty Please Kitsune Gu Guji is the tale of a loser Shogun and the Kitsune Guji who can do it all. <laughs> I don't think A likes this book. You know, I did ask Wei Yai if publishing such a novel was alright, but Wei Yai just said don't worry about it as long as it sells. It's all good. And in fact, this book actually sold pretty well. But every time I took look at its text, I can only think how a shogun truly is a forgiving soul. What is written in there? What's with those ears? Oh, they're just a prop, as the shrine main cost as is the shrine main costume I'm wearing. Actually, I'm just a part-time employee at Yay Publishing House, and my job this time is to act as one of the characters in the white novel to advertise a collaborative drink. Drink that the Kitsune Guji made for the main character, the Shogun, when the latter was ill. It has a most refreshing taste, owing to the addition of mint, as well as uh, Kakala lilies from Mondstadt. After drinking it, the main character realized that the Kitsune Guji was not angry, but was instead being supportive all this time, and so becomes, and so becomes able to overcome a crisis. After the novel came out, Yai Publishing House has received a constant stream of letters from readers, expressing an in, in interest in having such... Can you fucking... As such, we've uh, used the occasion of the Idori Festival to develop the drink alongside Sailing Breeze. What fucking game is it that I've played recently, where I've done voice lines very easily and not fucked up? I'm sorry, did that voice sound familiar? We've also taken up some of the setup work for the Dory Festival here at Sailing Breeze. Not only that, we've also got ourselves a collaboration with the white novel Pretty Please Kitsune Guji. We'll be, selling a, we'll be selling a limited number of collaborative drinks every day. The drink has some products from Mondstadt in it and tastes very unique as a result. Do come in and give it a go. Well, if you let me buy it. A collaborative drink is here. I should have at least one of these. Also, holy shit. Why? No, no, no. Almighty Shogun. Yo. Store owner taking name suggestions? Hello there, dear customer. Welcome. We currently have an ongoing event at our store with prizes to be won. Interested? Let's see what you got. Of course, we have a special selection brought in from Watatsumi Island for your perusal. Oh. Really? Well, that. I'm afraid I will not be. Uh, I don't think I've ever been at this store, actually. What do you sell here? See, I'm from Watatsumi Island, and I opened this stall here in Rito with my trademark being those round and radiant Watatsumi pearls, perfect for gifts or for wearing it in your hair. Some of my fisherman friends from Watatsumi Island also say an unugi, uh, una, <laughs> unagi here to be sold. I'm from a fishing family myself, so it goes without saying that I'll lend some neighbors a hand. You know what I mean. Oh, Unagi is... <laughs> is well-priced, and it's a mighty rare sight here in Rito. So it's sold pretty well. <laughs> Small profits and quick turnover. That's how you stay in business a long time. Alright, I've also brought some old relics that some of my ancestors fished out of the sea some time back. If you're a customer of finer tastes, you can have a look at those. Prizes to be won, you say? That's right. We're giving out prizes for store names. I wanted to come up with a catchy name and also get some publicity at the same time. So this is my two-in-one situation. The clients here are something too special, like the Watatumi Pearl, the Nagi Nagi, the Tumbly Round Super Shiny, and so on. Sending out in front of the crowd is good enough, of course, but I, I reckon that would be better if we... I'm with something that has broad appeal, so I've yet to decide on the final name. If you have any good ideas, please pay, take part in this event as well. I swear that sounds like Shermie. Are we gonna get? Are we gonna get uh, Asuna's English VA in this game? 
It'd be kind of nice. I'd like to hear Shermie in here as a character, along with Sarah Annie Williams, Erica Lindbeck. There are plenty of like female voice actors I want to see in here, and male, you know, you know, just voice actors, male voice actors. Oh, people have been asking me lately if I know where to find Mr. You know, whoever from WeWay, but I've never heard of this person in my life. Is he some kind of superstar, or maybe even well known, or even more well known than the Chinks? Uh, cheesing somehow? Sorry for the wait, dear customer. Would you like to buy some ores from WeWay? Nah, we're good. <laughs> 